Biological and Health Sciences at the Technological University Dublin. I've always had a passion for science, in particular for biology. When I finished school at 17 years of age, I immediately got a job working in the banking sector, but I never lost my interest in biology. Even when I was working in the banking sector, I completed an evening course in human health and disease. And then at 26, I decided that I would return to full-time education and I started studying applied biology and I absolutely loved it. Probably not directly inspired by someone, but many of my family were involved in healthcare and probably that seeded my interest in biology. I studied biosciences and biochemistry for my undergraduate degree, and I was definitely inspired by two of my biochemistry lecturers. They had such passion for the subject, and it really made it interesting for me. They definitely inspired me to pursue a biochemistry degree. I did my undergraduate degree in biochemistry and then I went to Sweden to pursue a PhD in the area of biochemistry and molecular biology. I took the opportunity to travel to Sweden on a European Erasmus exchange program and I did a project in a research laboratory in Sweden. It was such a fabulous experience. I then stayed in Sweden for 14 years and I worked in research and teaching at various universities there. I'm now working as the Head of School of Biological and Health Sciences in the same institute that I did my undergraduate degree in. And it's a great opportunity to give something back to a place that had such a positive influence on my career and on my life. For me, the most exciting thing is helping students to achieve their degree and graduate successfully from TU Dublin and achieve their potential for the future. Every year we have a graduation ceremony and it's a really proud moment for me as the head of school and for all the staff. And seeing the quality of our students and the enthusiasm of staff for our students and all our programmes is great. I also love setting and delivering the strategy for the school and making sure that we achieve our goals as a school. I hope that I can be a positive influence on students and on staff to pursue their goals, in particular a role model for women in STEM. I hope that the change of my career pathway and hopefully the successful pathway that I've taken is something that will encourage people to change their career path if they feel they haven't started off on the right career and taken the right steps at the beginning of their career. Just remember you're never too old to do what you really want to do. We have just become Ireland's first technological university, the Technological University Dublin, and we're currently undergoing an organisational redesign. In 10 years time, the university will have delivered on its new strategic plan uh, involving people, planet and partnership. And I hope to pay, play a key role in the delivery of this strategy as the head of school of biological and health sciences. Our school will have also graduated a further 1,000 students into the STEM workforce in biomedical science, nutrition and dietetics, and in biosciences, which is really exciting. Over 10 years, we'll have 1,000 graduates. So that's a really uh, exciting prospect uh, for me. I also hope to have published more research articles and to continue my research during this time. <music> STEM really needs diversity and you can be an influencer and bring that diversity by studying, STEM in, studying in STEM. There are huge opportunities for women in STEM and our ability to bring our skill set to industry, to education and to clinical settings is key in ensuring that STEM will continue to develop and also that we will develop in line with technological advances. <music> I would say take all of the chances that you're given. I remember I was hesitating about going to Sweden to complete my PhD back in 1997. However, that chance that I took shaped my career and by taking that chance, it opened up many new doorways for me. I would also say that 
if you get an opportunity to travel as part of your education or as part of your career, take that chance because it opens so many horizons and opportunities. Also, if you want to change career, even within STEM, uh, don't be afraid to do that. I changed my career pathway and I don't regret any of it. I would say realise that you can make a difference through your work in STEM. STEM needs diversity and you can be that influencer, influencer and bring diversity. It's never too late to change your career pathway into STEM or within STEM. Thank you.